Oh my gosh. Good morning, you guys. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a vlog. <laughs> vlog something a little bit different i'm taking myself out on a date today because i feel like if i don't have a man in my life to do it for me why should i wait why should i wait for a man to take me on the dates i want to go on when i can just take myself so that's what i'm doing today um and obviously because it's me it's going to be a bookish date so i figured i'd just bring you guys along for the ride um so i'm just in my car at the station now i'm gonna go run onto the platform so i don't miss my train but i just wanted to introduce the vlog here because i realized i probably am not going to get the chance to do that on the train because that would just be way too awkward for me and I don't think I have the confidence to vlog on a train like that. Um, I do have books with me so I will show you uh, on the way but I brought Jane Eyre for university and I've also brought Jade City so I'm going to probably start reading Jade City and then move on to Jane Eyre and yeah I'm a little out of breath because I had to run to get my parking sorted so I'm going to go so I'm not rushing onto the train and I will see you guys on the way to Manchester. so I'm actually home now as you can tell from my slightly bedraggled state and also my dressing gown um all my trains got cancelled on the way home which was a bit of a pain so I had a bit of a nightmare getting back so I'm super tired now but I had a really fun day I didn't vlog as much like talking as I kind of wanted to in town I don't know why I feel like really self-conscious working in public but more so when I'm on my own than when I'm with like a friend or whatever so yeah, I was a little bit nervous to like vlog today properly. So that's why most of this vlog will have obviously been like montage clips and then me speaking to you guys now. But I wanted to just show you guys everything that I picked up in Waterstones. So I managed to pick up five books, one of which I specifically was looking for today. Two of which I've picked up and put down a few times without buying and today just thought, right, okay, it's, it's time. And then um, the other two were obviously just the spur of the moment purchases. So yeah, let me um, go through them all for you. Also, my hair was like properly clean this morning. Look at that. It just looks a mess because I've run my hands through it. Ugh why okay so first up we have one true loves by taylor jenkins reed you guys will probably know by now but taylor jenkins reed is one of my favorite authors and i've been meaning to pick this one up for forever i've seen it like everywhere and i don't know every time i pick it up in store i'm like okay i really want to read this and then i just don't buy it so today was the day so this one's about a woman whose husband goes missing a year after their marriage in like a freak helicopter accident and he's never heard from from again so she grieves she moves on she finds somebody new she gets remarried and then all of a sudden her original husband turns up on the scene and it just challenges the idea of like does everybody only have like one true love um i'm really loving the new covers for all of the taylor jenkins read books bar evelyn hugo 
Um, this was on display with, there's another one and I can't remember its name, and then Daisy Jones and the Six paperback. And I think since the release of the paperback of Daisy Jones and the Six and also Malibu Rising, they've all got these kind of like very LA, California vibes covers. And yeah, I'm really feeling it. So I'm really excited to read this one. Oh, the other one's called Maybe in Another Life. I can't remember what that one's about though. But yeah, this one I've been wanting to pick up for ages. So I was like, right, okay, it's happening. It's happening. It happened. I have it. I can't wait to read it. Then we have the book I actually was looking for specifically today, which is Joan Didion's The Year of Magical Thinking. This is a memoir. And from what I've read about it, it's basically her navigating grief and loss and heartbreak. And I'm not grieving. I haven't lost anybody and I'm not particularly heartbroken right now, but I also feel like I will relate to this on a very deep level from situations that everybody obviously has in their life, but I have had plenty of in mine. And I'm in a very like memoir type mood at the moment where I'm wanting to read things like this that I feel like I'm going to identify with. So yeah, I'm excited to read this one. Um, I did actually pick up three Joan Didion books, which I think you guys will have seen throughout the course of the vlog, but I had to basically stop myself before I went and checked out on every single book that I picked up and I made myself pick like one of the three Joan Didion's and this one obviously because it's the one I came in for specifically I decided to get it. I also picked up another of her non-fiction bit pieces and then also um one of her fiction like one of her novels but I read like the first page of each one because I was like okay which of these do I want to take as well and just neither of them spoke to me quite so much so I thought I'll, I got them another day you know. Um, they also had a buy one get one half price table at the front of the store so I was having a look and these ones immediately caught my eye. So I've picked up Acts of Desperation by Megan Nolan a few times and haven't actually like bought it. Um, so because it was buy one get one half price and the other book caught my, my eye as well I thought you know fine. The blurb for this one again really speaks to me. Um, it basically says how could it be true that a woman like her could need a man's love to feel like a person to feel like she was worthy of life she's 23 and in love with love he's the most beautiful man she's ever seen the affair is quickly consuming and unpredictable behind his perfect looks is a cruel streak meanwhile she's starting to give in to secret shameful impulses of her own we're all looking to get what we want but do we know what we need and i <laughs> i feel like it's going to be again like super relatable and really thought provoking and just a very interesting take on love and relationships in your early 20s just in your 20s just relationships in general to be honest because like I am a self-confessed hopeless romantic who is completely in love with the idea of love um but never actually has the love that I want so um yeah I'm excited to delve in and just see what this is like because I've literally picked this up like I think three times at this point and haven't actually checked out with it so yeah and then I also saw this one which seemed really interesting this one's called Consent by Annabelle Lyon I don't know what has rubbed up against these books in the bag but for some reason all of them have like black smudges on them which were not there earlier so that's really annoying hopefully I can clean them off um <laughs> but basically this follows the perspectives of Saskia and Jenny who are twins and then Sarah and Matty who are sisters both sets of siblings have like difficult dynamics um and I think there's like um like a tragedy that kind of unites all four of them these women find themselves connected by the predatory actions of one man and united by the thrilling possibilities of revenge there we go yeah um the times have said it's the most truthful exploration of sisterhood so I'm I'm really intrigued by this. Just the cover honestly caught my eye and that obviously the title and I just thought, well, it's also buy one half price, so we'll give it a go. Also, I'm really enjoying how small all three of these are. I feel like I'm reading just a lot of really thick books at the moment and it's quite nice to pick up books that are just like really small and attainable, you know? But then I also did pick up a chunky book and this one is called The Mask of Mirrors by M.A. Carrick and like can we just take a minute for this cover like it's beautiful and this is the first book in the Rook and Rose trilogy. Yeah it's going to be a trilogy so they had the first two books there and I was honestly tempted to get both because I picked up the second one first I didn't realise it was the second book in a trilogy it was just on a display table and the cover caught my eye and I was like reading the back of it and realised so I went to go and look for the first one. Um honestly kind of have no idea what this is about i know it's like a high fantasy or i think it's a high fantasy i read the first page in waterstones and it again was like just really caught me like i was quite curious about it um so i'm just going to read you the back it says ren is a con artist who has come to the sparkling city of nadizira 
Nadezra, with one goal, to trick her way into a noble house, securing her fortune and her sister's future. But her masquerade is just one of many, and as corrupt nightmare magic begins to weave its way through the city of dreams, the poisonous feuds of its nobility and the shadowy dangers of its impoverished underbelly become tangled with Ren at their heart. The Mask of Mirrors is at the a missable start to the Rook and Rose trilogy, a dazzling and darkly magical fantasy adventure by Marie Brennan and Alec Helms writing together as M.A. Carrick. Um, so yeah, really curious. It's a thick boy though. I don't know when I'll get to this because I'm back in, in a bit of like a romance mindset at the moment, um, especially coming up to Valentine's, so that'll probably be a March read. And then I don't know if you guys are really interested with everything else that I bought, but I'm just going to show you anyway because why not? got some highlighters because I'm running low um some post-its for annotating I need to get some more tabs actually I bought some um teeth whitening because I'm drinking too much coffee at the moment I bought toothpaste and deodorant oh so thrilling I bought an uh, eyebrow pencil because mine has run out and some of my favourite pens also for annotating and journaling purposes so there we go you guys that is everything that I bought in Manchester today my little Manchester haul I hope you enjoyed it I hope you enjoyed the vlog I know it's a bit different but I just wanted to film something a bit different so there we go hope you liked it i'm gonna go and do some studying now um and i'm really tired but i'm i'm, I'm gonna be good i'm gonna do the studying i'm gonna do the thing that i need to do and i will talk to you guys soon if you've enjoyed the vlog please subscribe thanks this is a weird outro so i'm just gonna end it now bye <laughs>